Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to you as well. My name is Jennifer and this is my channel. So today I have a keto grocery haul for you guys. I'm going to show you what I've got to start getting me back on track. This is all keto and low carb friendly and this is what I'll be eating on for the next two weeks or so. Some of the stuff will definitely last longer than two weeks. Others will have to be replaced before two weeks. Others, I don't know how long it'll last. Um, there is, the most of the things that will have to be replaced before the two weeks is over is fresh stuff like vegetables. Um, so yeah, that's about it. And let's get started at what I got for this next couple of weeks. To get me back on track. First, I picked up some drink mixes. Um, my specific purpose of getting these drink mixes was I saw a recipe going around one of the keto groups that I belong to on Facebook and they were making gummy bears out of flavored drink mixes and unflavored gelatin. So I got two packages of the unflavored gelatin and then I got several boxes of the drink mix. Um, I just like this in water, even if I'm not using it for the gummy bears. I don't even know if they'll turn out. Some people said they did turn out. Some people said they didn't. I'm going to try it. I'm going to show you me trying it. But then others of this will go for just to drink in water. So the drink mix flavors I got are the Kool-Aid Cherry. These are all zero calorie, sugar free, of course. I got a Tropical Punch a grape, country time lemonade, and a country time pink lemonade. So I'm excited to try the gummy bears and then just have these for my water because I'm, I have no problem drinking water, I love water, but sometimes it's good to have something with some flavor with that is not um, carbonation and is not pop. So there you go. Next, I picked up these Extreme Wellness High Fiber Tortilla Wraps. Jean eats a lot of tortillas and kind of bums me out that I can't have tortillas, like either meat and cheese wrapped in a tortilla or chicken or whatever I want to put in a wrap. So I picked up these. These are by the Olay Mexican Foods. I'm thinking that's how you pronounce it. And they're the Extreme Wellness. And these are the... Hmm, Whole 100% whole wheat and flax seeds. Um, they're high fiber carb lean. And they have 50 calories for one tortilla. There's 50 calories and 15 grams of carbs, but there's 11 grams of fiber, which would leave it four grams of net carbs. Not bad for a tortilla. So I got those. And I got a big jar of green olives. Next, I got a few different condiments. I have a, quite a few different dressing recipes I wanna to try to make myself to see how they'll turn out. I'm gonna be doing a video on that as well. And they're not my original recipes for um, dressings. They're what I found on YouTube, and I will give those people credit whose recipes I copy. Um, but they just look good, and I wanna try them and taste them and see how we like them. So first, I got a bottle of the G8, G. Hughes sugar-free ketchup. I've never tried this, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the sugar-free ketchup tastes like. I did also get a G. Hughes sugar-free honey barbecue. This is my favorite barbecue sauce. I've used this for a long time and it is delicious. I got a bottle of horseradish sauce. I'm pretty sure this is carb-free. Well, there's one gram of carb for a teaspoon for how much? A teaspoon. And horseradish sauce is pretty potent, so I don't even know if I'd use a whole teaspoon, but it is definitely good. I also picked up another big jar of the Duke's Mayo. A container of Parmesan cheese. I refer to it as shaker cheese, but it's technically Parmesan. Um, next I got I love, love, love chicken salad. And for some quick meals, quick lunches, I have got some of the canned chunked chicken in a can to just drain and mix up with 
chicken salad. I've seen quite a few recipes on the internet, on YouTube, that are keto chicken salad friendly and they dress it up with a lot of good yummy things in it. So I'm looking forward to making some of this very, very soon. I'm reaching to get my next product. This one I already opened because we needed some this morning. And this is Stevia for our baking and eating whatever in. This is the one that we got this time. I had a different kind the last time, but this one was a good price, and so we just picked this one up. All right, now we're gonna move into the meats and refrigerated items. So first we got, we're trying to go do a little bit healthier foods. Not all of this is healthy, but we're moving slowly in that direction and trying to make some better choices. So first of all, we got a pound of the organic grass-fed beef. And this is my first time ever having this, but this is the most healthiest I've heard. And we're going to be purchasing this from now on as well as making other little changes as we move along. Not all at once, but it is going to be getting better. So we, that's what we started with this time. I also got some of the Jimmy Dean turkey sausages. We got a regular pork sausage. They had the bacon on sale, I think two for six, if I'm not mistaken, it was two for something. So we got two bacons. We've got a bag of chicken breast cutlets. This is the boneless skinless for some recipes coming up. Next, we have some cheese. Ever since I've been sick, oh wait, hold on before we get to the cheese. I got a smoked sausage. We always call this kibasi. I don't know what the difference is between typical kibasi and smoked sausage, but we got a smoked sausage. I also got a package not the best choice, but good to eat as a package of hot dogs. It's quick, easy, low in carbs, high in fat and protein, so it's okay. Um, ever since I've been sick in February, um, my consumption of cheese has went down greatly, which is very odd for me, but we're going with it. So we just got two different kinds, two bags of cheeses, and this will definitely last the entire month and we're not going to be purchasing cheese like crazy like I used to. So I got a big bag of the mozzarella and a big bag of the cheddar, and this is for both of us for the entire month, which will be good. Now we'll move on to the produce, and then I think that will be it. I got a bag, this is my favorite, this is what we're gonna have for dinner. Love this salad, this is the chipotle and cheddar chopped salad my very favorite. I also got, there's a very funny story that goes along with this. I got a bag of coleslaw mix because I want to make egg roll in a bowl. And so the other day, well no it wasn't the other day because I just got this yesterday, because we actually got these groceries yesterday. We're just getting around to hauling it today. Um, so yesterday, Gene was being a sweetheart and he asked me if I wanted something to eat. And I said, yes, I would love for you to make me something to eat. And so I told him, I said, I wanted a hot dog. And I want a hot dog. Come over here and be in the video while I tell this story. Come on, it's funny. So what is the story? So the story is, well, let me get my arm out here. So the story is, you were making me something to eat. Ah, uh, yes, dog. simple uh, misunderstanding sort of a little blonde moment. So I asked him, I said, could you make me a hot dog and put some coleslaw on it? And so he says, do you want mustard or something on it? And I said, no, just the coleslaw. Because the coleslaw on a hot dog is pretty, around here, that's a pretty typical hot dog. I tried it, I concur. But he put, opened my egg roll in a bowl coleslaw and put on my hot dog. We had a container of already made coleslaw. That's what I was asking for on my hot dog. That's coleslaw. But he put uh -huh. the cabbage on the hot dog. It's actually pretty good. I did try it. I uh, 
leave some on my own. And then I tried the actual other coleslaw that's mixed with the liquid. Both are pretty good, actually. If you want some crunch cabbage, what this dried stuff is actually pretty good. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. That's the funny little story we have for you for this today. Back to my haul. We have three avocados. I did get a bag. Now they're out of the bag. They're all just sitting here on the counter because we used a couple. Um, if anybody was around earlier in December when we were making, Gene was making his boil aroma potpourri stuff on the, uh, on the stove, he did water with some like oranges and pears and stuff. We decided to throw a couple of these in some water to make it kind of orangey smelling in our apartment. I got a bag of these of Dorbs. Um, I know they are not keto friendly, but they are yummy and I did get them. So that's my kind of bad thing, I guess you can say. Um, these have a lot of different names. They're mandarins, but they come in a lot of different names. Halos, cuties, these are Dorbs. Um, but they're out of the bag now because we put some in the water. Um, next, we got two cucumbers. Next, we already opened a bag of spinach. Some celery. This is for my chicken salad. I'm going to, it's already starting to look a little limp and I just got it yesterday. Um, we're gonna go ahead and chop this up and put it in some cold water so it'll last a little longer. And that's gonna go in my chicken salad. A head of lettuce. A head of cauliflower, almost said broccoli. A head of cauliflower. This is what I'm most excited about. Some zucchinis. It's gonna be zoodle time soon, guys. I haven't had my zoodles in such a long time. I have my little zoodle maker and Jean has never had a zoodle. So we're gonna be making um, a homemade Alfredo keto friendly sauce with zoodle noodles. And we're gonna have that pretty soon. Also have some of the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And we got three of these little babies. Side note about the egg gate from last month. Those eggs that I bought last month lasted the entire month and we still had like four or five left over at the beginning of this shopping time. So we just got three of those one and a half dozen containers and that will take us through the entire month of grocery eating. Um, oh, I also got cream cheese, but I accidentally left it in the fridge. Got two cream cheeses to replace two of the ones we already used. We still have some in the freezer. We just rotated them out. Um, Non-food, they had a really good deal, manager special on a vitamin. My gynecologist once told me that any woman within childbearing years should take a prenatal vitamin and they had these prenatal gummies on sale for $7.99. So I picked up some prenatal vitamins and I think that's it. I'm pretty sure. Can you think of anything we missed? I can't think of anything we missed. I think we're good. Well, they can't see you juggling over there. <laughs> All right, so I think that's it. And thank you for joining me for my grocery haul. I will be back tomorrow with a cooking video, a recipe. Not sure which one yet, but you will see a video tomorrow and I will be back. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, be the love, be the light, and do good things. Bye, everyone.